Hi, you just completed an exploration where you used a library to control an LCD. Let's summarize what you learned. We learned that we need to add the library in order to use its functionality in our program. For example, to use the liquid crystal library, we need to type pound sign include and enter the library name dot h inside angle brackets. We can then create a variable that will receive the functionality of the library by typing the library name followed by our variable name and the connection pins used. We learned how to use the begin function in the liquid crystal library to initialize the interface to the LCD screen using the numbers of columns and rows as parameters. We learned how to use the print function from the library to print text to our LCD screen. Any time we are entering text directly into the command, it must be surrounded by quotation marks. We learned how to use the set cursor function to move the starting position of the text on our screen using an X coordinate to control the column and a Y coordinate to control the row. Note that column and row values all start at zero, so the top row is considered zero and the bottom row is considered one. We also learned that we can use the clear command to clear anything currently printed to the LCD screen. When we run this program, we can see that the first text line is printed at the start of the screen in the top left corner. The second line of text is set to start on column two and line one. Remember, these values start at zero. We also learned how to use the millis function to count the milliseconds since the program began, which can be more useful than using the delay command to control our programs. Now it's your turn to put all these concepts together to complete some Arduino challenges.